Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at Meadow Hall, Sheffield. It's the start of fight week for the man stood in front of me, Mr. Hopi Price. How are you, mate? I'm good, Jim. Very well, thank you. We are a bit cramped in, but we've got to go with it. Start of fight week for you. Uh, probably your biggest fight up to date. Just speaking to your trainer, Dave. James Beach Jr., he comes to fight. He's been in there with a lot, a lot of top-level opponents. So, first of all, what do you make of James? Um... You know, he's been in with some good opposition. Um, he's a tough, durable lad, you know. Um, if people's not on the game, he tends to beat them. But um, he, he's, he's fit a lot of good lads, but I, I believe I'm the best out of the bunch. I'm the, I'm the best fighter he's fought, and he'll see why Saturday. Is that why you've taken someone like James, who's been uh, in for British titles before, Commonwealth titles, and gone rounds with them, so you want to make lighter work with, with him than the others have in the past? 100%, you know. Um, this is my first fight moving up to featherweight. And he's just come off a, a, a loss for the British and Commonwealth featherweight title to uh, Nathaniel Collins. Nathaniel Collins is also fighting uh, Raza Hamza, I believe, next. James Beach just beat him. So I believe if I go in there and, and put, on a, put on a statement performance against James Beach the weekend, puts me right in line you know, to fight, fight the winner of Raza Hamza and uh, Nathaniel Collins for the, for the British title. No talk to go in there with just like a little six, eight rounder for your first fight at featherweight. You wanted to go straight in the mix. No, straight in the mix. You know, um, it's not so much. Um, oh, I was struggling at super bantamweight, move up to featherweight. It's not one of them things at all. You know, um, I still could make super bantamweight, but just I sat down after my last fight. I spoke with Dave. I spoke with my nutritionist, and just that extra four pound. You know, the the extra bit of food, the extra energy. You know, um, when we're looking at the numbers and stuff, it's it's. I'm so much better in my performance at featherweight. So. I believe that's why I've moved up early. I didn't want to be to get into a, a year or two time, getting myself mandatory for a title and then thinking, oh, this super bantamweight's hard. I've done all the hard work for nothing, so it's move up to featherweight now and uh, you'll see the best of me. That featherweight division is absolutely stacked domestically and domestically in this country is kind of at world level. So it's a tough division to go into, but you're ready in the years to come? Yeah, 100%. You know, there's a lot of good fighters domestically and, like you say, there's a lot of good fighters back here in the UK at the world level so um, like you said the world level is obviously a bit in front of me for now the domestic level I'm up to try and come and clean up that and then obviously in the future I'll come up to world level and uh, whoever's still about then they're still about Is 2024 the year where Hopi Price wins a British title? I believe so you know I believe it even could happen this year you know I think I want to try and deal with him in good fashion and it gives me a bit of a Surely it puts me in line to fight for the British title. You know, if I do a better job than beating quicker than uh, Collins did and the rest did, then hopefully we can get that get the fight on with the winner of uh, Raza Hamza and Nathaniel Collins for the British and Commonwealth title. You know, that's what I want. I've always wanted to not surpass that. I've always wanted to win the British title, so that, that's that's one of my goals. When you look at top of the bill here, Dalton Smith, who's defending his British for the third time, it's a very traditional route that's not actually done a lot anymore. So do you look at that and think, yeah, I want a bit of that, I want that prestigious belt? Yeah, you know, um, I'm boxing for the WBA Continental. I've just won the Super Bantamweight version of that belt. I've won the IBO International. These titles are good to get you in the rankings, to get you up. But, you know... I'd love to win the British title, you know, and, and give it to my dad one day. That's the traditional thing to do when you look. I'm still only early on in my career, so if I can pick it up sooner rather than later, I've got a chance to still stay at this level and defend it and try and win it outright, as Dalton has. And then, obviously, that puts you in perfect stead to go on to European and world level after that. Just away from your fight, another addition to your gym, Ebony Bridges. What's it like having her in the gym? You know what? She's good crack, you know, in the gym. Uh, she's, um, she's an hard worker, obviously, uh, a fellow lead supporter, so there's, uh, there's now me, my brother and Ebony, all support Leeds United, so we can give Dave a bit of stick over Man U now and then. Uh, he's, a bit, he's a bit outgunned at the minute. Last one, prediction Saturday night, how does it end? Uh, I believe I stopped James Beach inside the distance. Excellent, Hobie, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro. Thank you. For the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests. Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, 
and you fucking show up.